there's a huge lane for celebrities or whatever you want to call us to make a lot of fucking noise. So I, I want to be the best actual technical skilled influencer boxer because I see how big this is becoming. I, I think it's just the start like of what we're going to see. So that's why I'm so excited about it is to be the pioneer of this space. We're in like a flow state right now. We're like, every, the energy is amazing. I'm in amazing shape. I, I'm ready to fight. Like we, we sparred nine rounds against three different people yesterday. And that flow state is just like, the energy is just going, going, going. And every single day we're like, just exponentially getting better. High altitude sprints, oh, yeah, we got this hill walk. sprints. We'll some bear walking real quick. Bear walking up there and down, then we'll sprints after that. Big bear. Big bear. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're bear gonna crawls. Bear. Yeah, bear crawls. We're going to turn around on the next pole. Not this pole, but the next one. Give you got a whole lot of fucking man coming at you. <laughs> My shoulders are turning into steel and you're bloody fucked. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I should have been in the NFL. Those are calf shoes, and those are made for boxing. I, I'm not for boxing, I'm made for basketball, for jumping, so they can, everybody can get their, boat, their birds up and they can dunk. But for me, I'm putting it on his foot so he can uh, put more weight on his back leg because he's used to putting a lot of weight on his front leg, which is not bad. Some fighters fight like that, but you want to be even leg. You don't want to just be on your left leg. You need to be able to be on your right leg too so you can shift from side to side easy, mm. you know, so. That's you know that's the main purpose for me putting that in this left foot. So. Can we tape this? Yeah. The biggest thing to train with Shane is like perfection in the details. Like you're not allowed to get away with any, like any little thing. The way he trained was really hard and so he pushes me really hard. There's like no breaks. Like even when I'm tired, he's like he doesn't care. 
where other coaches might be like, oh, okay, that's good, or whatever. You know, a, a lot of camps will just have like a lot of people around, like joking, laughing, just being loud, and we're just here focused away from all distractions. And even in LA, when I was watching my brother, you know, go through his training camp, there's still like girls there. There's still the people coming in and out of his house. Hey, how you doing? Ha ha ha, let's laugh, let's joke. Oh, you're here in LA, we might as well film a podcast, might as well go to this event. Here there's none of that, there's literally nothing to do. We box, sleep, watch fights, and talk more about boxing. You know, I keep on seeing interviews where Gib is like, oh, I got a few things to work on in camp, and you know, there's a, f a few things to refine, and all this stuff, it's like, for us, now we're just, now we're just, we already did all that, now we're just like adding on the extra shit to be fancy and like really show people that I know how to box. This isn't like a one-off stunt for me. I, I wanna I wanna keep on fighting. I, I have a list of targets. There's a ton of people that are talking shit, you know, coming out of the woodworks, Antonio Brown, there's Dylan Dennis, there's other YouTubers. Like the, the potential for this is absolutely massive and I wanna be, and I know I will be, the best professional influencer boxer. And uh, I've fallen in love with it, man. It's fucking fun. Like, I was just saying yesterday, we were just driving up, like, watching the sparring footage, and I'm just like, man, I love fighting. Like, it just, it's just amazing. It takes me back to my roots of being competitive and playing football and, and wrestling. <laughs> I met Shane when I was like 18 years old because uh, his, his kids were fans and he wanted to like bring them by the Team 10 house. And so someone hit me up and was like, hey, Shane Mosley wants to bring his kids by. Like, is that cool? And I was just like, yeah, sure. So his kids came by, we hung out for a little bit and then they would come visit like every couple of months when they, whenever they were in town. Uh, and we kind of just started as friends. And then when I started boxing, he was like, hey man, like that's sick, like let me help you. I could show you a couple things and eventually it turned into full blown training camp. So but when you're progressing at something, that's always like when you're having the most fun. If you're just doing something and you just like keep on doing it and it's the same exact thing, then like it just gets old. Which is kind of what YouTube was for me, like, post every day, post every day, post every day for two years straight. Cool, get 5 million views, get 10 million views, get 40 million views, get 5 million, 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 like, it's just like, alright, cool, we, I've done this, you know? And this is something new or that I'm progressing at, and that's an untapped vertical. Like, I, I look at myself as an innovator and a pioneer, and... I came in to YouTube at a time where there was a lot of change that needed to happen and I was that change along with my brother and that's why I went, was, went so big and viral and became the biggest. This is a, a vertical right now where like boxing I think is like starting to make a huge comeback. There's a huge lane for celebrities or whatever you want to call us to make a lot of fucking noise and sell tickets at the end of the day it's a fucking business and like if we can sell the most tickets we're gonna make the most money and draw the most fans and and no one can really hate on that and that's why i want to be the best actual technical skilled influencer boxer because i see how big this is this is becoming i, I think it's just the start like of what we're gonna see so that's why i'm so excited about it is to be the pioneer of this space you guys do six rounds, six rounds today? <laughs> what about tonight? I don't know the plan, yeah. but we're gonna do go at 8 p.m. What we could do? You want to do tomorrow? I mean, yeah. if he could come up, if he could come up tomorrow and even stay. Yeah, we have that Airbnb. And we should figure out when uh, that MMA fighter is coming to. Like, yeah, I'd like to fight in like Madison Square Garden or some huge venue. I think the hard part is, you know, like for even my fans right now, it's like they're not that excited because they don't really know who Gib is. 
even all my friends are like, who is he? Is he a boxer? Is he a YouTuber? And so, you know, we don't have a huge stadium for this fight. I think it's already sold out, but I ideally would like to fight Madison Square Garden. If I'm fighting KSI, they're going to want to do it in Europe, so we'll see. We'll see, but definitely some massive, some massive. I know, I just know it's going to knock him out. Yeah. I, I don't want you to go out there like thinking, you know, yeah, just, no, just, no, just no, going yeah. and be like, just regular type of knock him out. He's going to sleep. Boom, get it, down, up, boom. Just do regular stuff. Don't even try. Don't have to jump the knockout. Yeah, this is going to happen. It's inevitable. Hey, I didn't know this was coming out Monday. I just have a message for Gib. Gib, I know you're watching this, and I know that you're gonna go up to Vidal and you're gonna be like, hey Vidal, hey Vidal, I watched that Jake's Day in the Lake, man. I don't think we were working hard enough. So, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the start. This, this is gonna be the start of your training camp after you watch this. Give me a hey Vidal, hey Vidal, hey Vidal. I don't think we're working hard enough. Hey Vidal. And that's the moment you're gonna realize Vidal never cared. Yeah, I'm fucked up. That's who you want. <laughs> <laughs>